This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Erica Gamet, you ready? Hit it. Okay, so I have these couple pictures here of the Seattle waterfront and this lovely blazing yellow background just because I wanted to make sure you all saw it. But what it actually is, is one picture with a mask on top of it. So this is basically masking in, in design. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, I just have the image here and I actually have that yellow rectangle in the background. And I'm just going to take the images that I wanna cut out and put a frame on top of them. They have to have a color, doesn't matter what color because we're gonna change it anyway. Just bring these in here. And sometimes I do it with a little bit of opacity so I can actually see what I'm doing there. And then I'm gonna grab each of those. So I'm just shift selecting all of those. And I'm gonna go up to the opacity slider and put it to zero. Looks right how we had it a second ago. I'm gonna go to my layers panel and I'm gonna see that I have this rectangle in the uh, background and I wanna just bring it up to the front so I can see it there. So I've still got the, the other rectangle selected. I'm gonna select that, the yellow rectangle as well. And I'm gonna group them, Commander Control G. And then I'm gonna come up to the transparency window and I'm gonna choose knockout group and it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Oh, come on. Let's go backwards. Oh, I didn't. No, they're filled with white. Okay, take that. And then I'm going to grab the rectangle as well and all those, now I'm gonna blow all my timing. And I'm gonna group them together, yes? Group together. Now I'm gonna come up here to the transparency slider and choose knockout group. I don't know why it didn't work, but it did there. So now I have this mask that is actually just sitting on top, but I also still have these individual items so I can double click on them and make a change to them. So I can change the size, I can change the position, decide I wanna show something else, I can come up here and convert the shape to something else. So you can see where you could put those on say a parent page and have those set up for different images and you can change out the image at any time. But then what I do with that, I've got another one here where instead of a color, I've got an image as the mask itself and I've done the same thing and I have this set up so you can see that it's actually showing everything that's back behind and I use this for overlays in Keynote and my video uh, images as well. Also keep in mind you can duplicate these items and just make sure you add it into the group. But I export that out and I come in here to Keynote and I'm gonna go ahead and paste one of these because I love Keynote. You gotta have lots of pictures of David, right? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna choose the one that I already have set up here. And then, you know, if we play that, I don't know if you'll hear it. You can see him moving, you know, more David all the time. And then I'm gonna come over here and I've got the same thing, I've got this turned on, so we can come in here and we can see the images playing. And I have another one set up because I think you can never have too much David. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I use masks in InDesign. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.